What is going on Amazon sellers or hopefully soon to be Amazon sellers. My name is Bo Crable and I'm the leading expert in teaching people like yourself on how to make money on Amazon. And in today's video, I'll be going over about the five reasons why Amazon wholesale is better than private labeling. Reason number one why Amazon wholesale is better than private labeling is I would say is the consistency of being able to scale your business. Um, I actually have a buddy of mine who used to private label and he got his account shut down. He's doing very well and now he's actually going through my business model of selling on Amazon wholesale. And one of the biggest reasons that he realized is because he's actually able to consistently scale his business. In private label, yes, you can really go from zero to 100 and go really, really fast, but also when you're scaling that fast also comes a huge downfall. Um, because with private label, what you're really doing is you're selling a product that already exists on Amazon, but you're having to go rebrand it. And so you go against another product, let's say you wanna go sell another mouse pad. And there's someone that's making these nice little yellow mouse pads and you wanna go do the same one. So now if you go compete against that mouse pad, if you are not better at branding or marketing or able to go spend more money on advertising or whatever it is, if you're not able to improve on it, then at the best case, you're going to get half the sales of what they're doing. So with that, someone can keep coming in and in and in. That's usually what happens with private label is that someone makes money with it, then people copy it and get better. But then at the end of the day, the people that are already in the game know what to do, know how to do the gray area and the black hat tricks and have more money are gonna win. With wholesale, what you're doing, I look at as investing. I have X amount of money and capital. I'm making the right relationships with my suppliers. And as time goes on, I'm going to build better relationships with my suppliers which lead to better access to more products and more sources and better prices. And as I raise up my capital, I put more money into the business and keep it growing. So it's kind of seems to be more consistently of a scalability. Reason number two is I am able to adapt with doing Amazon wholesale and with private label, not really so much. What do I mean by this? Well, how I look at a lot of things, I really study the retail industry a lot because that's really what I'm doing is I'm pretty much the same exact business model as Walmart. I'm buying products low and selling them higher. And if we actually look at Walmart, TJ Maxx, Ross, Dollar General, all like clearance stores, they actually do better than in recessions. And why is that? Well, it's because they're selling cheap goods and in recessions, the reason what happens to people is they need to shop for cheaper goods because they're wasting their money, they're spending money on things that they don't need, and now a recession hits, now they need to sell things they do need and go revert to buying at the Dollar General store instead of going to the Gucci store. So let's take this as an example if you're building a brand on Amazon and you're building a high-end brand where you're selling $500 kayaks. I don't know if that's a lot of money for a kayak. I don't buy kayaks. I don't really buy a lot of things. Um, but let's say you're selling these high-end kayaks and the economy is going really, really well and things are going great. People want to go swim, but then things go down. No one's really going to buy your expensive kayaks anymore. Or on the reverse side, let's say you're like, okay, I am a cheap um, discounted goods brand and people come to me because they want to save money. Well, you could be leaving a lot of money left on the table if it's in a really good market. But with your doing, selling on Amazon, selling name brand goods with Amazon wholesale, you just sell what sells. You look at the numbers, you look at the data, and you're willing to adapt. So if the customers want this product, well, you give it to them and you buy it low and you sell it high. With private label, you're stuck to what your own brand is. And it really, what it comes down to is if you're not good at branding, if you're not good at marketing, you're probably not gonna do very well with private label. Does that make sense? Reason number three why Amazon wholesale is better than private labeling is simply just by looking at the facts and the numbers. 51% of Amazon sellers are private labeling. So you may think to yourself, okay, over half the sellers on Amazon are private labeling. That probably means I should probably do it too. But if we actually look at it, 10% of the sellers who do over a million dollars a year, private label. So it's only producing about 10% of the sales. So you could, yeah, do private label where there's the most amount of people doing it and less amount of success, or you could just do what's working, sell products that are already selling and sell name brand goods. A couple months ago, I actually posted a really good testimonial with a student of mine, Cody, and he actually came to my house and we did this really cool thing. And he actually first got introduced to selling on Amazon through private label. And that does bring up a question of mine, like I always wanna get feedback from my audience. So if you can let me know that, like when you first got heard about selling on Amazon, was it through private label, drop shipping, arbitrage? What business model got you interested in selling on Amazon? Let me know in the comments. But with Cody, he had a really good story about how he first got introduced to private label. If you wanna hear about that story, feel free to click the link up above here. There'll be a card that's popping up. Reason number four why Amazon wholesale is better than private labeling is because let me ask you a question. Would you rather make a decision based off of facts and data or by guessing? 
Well, Amazon Wholesale, by selling name brand goods, you're able to get all the data that you need. There are products in my Amazon store right now that have been selling on Amazon for more than a decade. And I'm able to see the sales that have happened throughout that decade, I'm able to see the numbers and see if it's trending up or trending down. With private label, you really are making a guess. And would you rather make a simple guess or just simply know what's going on with the facts? Because yes, you can do all the research you want with private label, but at the end of the day, you are having so many variables going about where what's the variable on you understanding your pay-per-click cost or you're um, simply able to create a better image or a better headline or get the better reviews. With Amazon Wholesale, there is more data. Reason number five why Amazon Wholesale is better than private label and it is for long term. Things that used to work a few years ago with arbitrage don't work anymore. There are less and less arbitrage sellers today because Amazon really does not allow it and they take down and simply suspend a lot of sellers. How people get reviews now with private label, if you're private label, you know that if you're trying to get reviews, it's just simply not as easy as it used to be. And now the people that started with private label a long time ago and got into and kind of got grandfathered in have a better advantage. I have coached over 3,000 students on how to sell products on Amazon and someone who joins and starts selling on Amazon right now, they have close to pretty much all the same advantages that I do. If someone wants to go private label, you really are at a disadvantage. And with the long-term strategy of this all is do you think Hasbro will be selling in 10 years from now? I believe so. Do you think Frisbees will be selling in 20 years from now? Most likely, and there's probably a big brand for Frisbees and what if you're just selling those every single day? But I would make a pretty solid bet that in 10, 15, 20 years from now, or even two years from now, that your random brand that you made from making some Tupperware containers probably won't do well. And the reason why I say all this information and why I just kind of harped on private label is because I've made money with private label. I used to private label Kandamas and phone cases and all that good things and made good money on Amazon and eBay, but I realized for the long term, for the consistency, for having the more data and it would actually scale simply was just not ideal for me. Thank you so much for watching this video. I told you about the five reasons why Amazon Wholesale is better than private labeling. Now, if you wanna learn more, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I come out with new videos just like this all the time. Drop a comment down below and make sure to actually turn on that little notification bell so you actually get notified from my videos. YouTube does not always notify you. And sometimes I go live where you can kind of catch me out and answer questions anytime. But if you do wanna uh, ask me any questions, feel free to follow me on Instagram at B-E-A-U-C-R-A-B-I-L-L and ask me any questions you have about selling Amazon. So that's about it. Make sure to like and subscribe, turn on the little notification bell, and have a great day.